you think that Maidana fight did for you? Obviously, you lost the fight, of course, but what do you think that that fight did for you in the eyes of boxing fans? It helped me. Yeah. It helped me. It, it, it slowed me down a little bit. If I win that Maidana fight, if I win that Maidana fight, I'd probably be dead right now, man. Mm. I was moving so fast. You know, God, but God worked in mysterious ways, though. I think I think that was just to show me, like, you know, man, you got to chill your ass out a little bit. But, you know, I'm back here. <laughs> I'm right back here. And even after that, you know, uh, my name still kept growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. Then I went another world title after that, and my name just keeps growing and growing and growing, you know. It's all about growth. Do you think your name got bigger because of the way you fit down in that fight? See, I showed more in that fight with the loss than I showed in my best wins. You know, and and they know uh, to get me out of there, man. I'm a, I die first. <laughs> Do you, do you laugh at some of the talk about Pacquiao not because of that? That they're saying Pacquiao can knock you out? Man, I don't give a fuck about Pacquiao, brother, to be honest. I, I really don't. And, you know, uh, I respect him. I, I respect what he's done in the sport, you know, because um, he definitely changed a lot for the sport. He's definitely paved a lot of ways for, for people in the sport. But, you know, I don't... I don't really care too much about him. Uh, what, what do you think it is about Adrian Broner that, despite suffering some losses, ups and downs, that you're still one of the biggest names in boxing. People seem to connect to you in a different way than other fighters. I'm me, man. I'm me. I'm me. It ain't no duplicate. Well, it is. I got a twin brother, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm me. Uh, no matter what, no matter if we... No matter if we... I don't care if the camera's around or not, I'm going to always be me. Do you think it has something to do with your really open about even your struggles when you're going through a hard time? Do you think that's something people connect to? I, I'm just not afraid to say how I feel and, and express myself. See, because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I did a, uh, after the loss, after the McDonald's loss, I did an interview and they were supposed to air it on TV and they didn't put it on TV because they thought that I was going to be sad and crying and shit. Remember that, Mike? They, I did one, I did one, and then they stopped it, and then they came back and did another one, <laughs> and they never aired it. What, what, was, what happened huh? in that interview? Huh? Who filmed it? Showtime. What did you say in that interview? Huh? What did you say? I was the same way. I guess they thought I was gonna be sad and crying and shit, but I was just the same, same way. Speaking of Madonna, um, after he I heard he coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? At heavyweight, maybe. I don't know, man. <laughs> he, he might be shit. He, he always get big and then lose all the way. But, I, I, you know, I, I wish him the best. You know, uh, Madonna, that's my homie. He said after he fought you, he doesn't remember the 12th round because he hit him so hard. I know, shit. I don't remember a couple rounds either. <laughs> <laughs> At least we being honest. <laughs> what? Did you, st you stay in touch with him after the fight? Or at least or? Nah, that's my nigga, though. Madonna, we, we, we cool. Something about what happened in that fight so keeps you together that way. Nah, it's just, it's, that's a, it's a business, man. It ain't, it ain't nothing personal. Shit, I hope he come back. I want to fight his ass again.